Hi guys, and welcome back to the Lavender Chair Crochet Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make a granny triangle. Stay tuned! In this tutorial, you are going to need yarn and a crochet hook. You can use whatever weight yarn you like as long as your hook corresponds to that yarn weight. For this tutorial, I am going to be using worsted weight yarn and an I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Before we get started, I would just like to apologize for the background noise as it is very distracting. It seems that like my only day that I have available for filming, the lawn guys would like to come and mow the grass and trim the trees. So hopefully it isn't too loud in the background. So to begin, you're going to create a slip knot and insert your hook. Chain four and make two double crochet in the fourth chain from hook. This will be your first three double crochet cluster as the chain three counts as your first double crochet from here on out. Chain two to create your first corner and make three more double crochet in the same space. Chain two to create your second corner, three more double crochet in the same space. Chain two to create your third and final corner and join with a slip stitch to the top chain of your chain three from the beginning of the round. Creating a granny's triangle is just like creating a granny square, but instead you will only have three corners to work with. To move on to round two, chain three, and make three double crochet, actually two because we only have this one, two double crochet in the same space, chain one, three double crochet in the next chain two space, chain two to create a corner, and three more double crochet in the same chain two space. Chain one, create three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet in the next chain two space to create your second corner. Chain one, make three double crochet in the final chain two space. Chain two to make your third and final corner. And once again, join with a slip stitch to the top chain of the chain three from the beginning of the round. As you can see, your triangle is starting to take form. Moving on to round three. Chain three, two double crochet in the same space. Chain one, three double crochet in the next chain one space. Chain one, now we're onto our corner, so we're going to make three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Chain one, three double crochet in the next chain one space. Chain one. As we approach our corner, we're going to create yet again, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. getting a little tangled over here. There we go. Okay, chain one, three double crochet in the next chain one space. Chain one, 
three double crochet in the final chain two space, chain two to create your third and final corner, and join with a slip stitch in the top chain of the chain three from the beginning of the round. You can make your granny triangle as large as you want. To continue by doing this, you repeat the process by chaining three, making two double crochet in this same space. Chaining one and making three double crochet in each of the chain one spaces with chain ones between them. And for every corner, you are going to create three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. You can do this until it's as large as you want. I like to finish off my granny squares and granny triangles with a round of single crochet around the border. I'll show you how to do this now. Chain one, single crochet in the same space, and single crochet in each stitch and chain across. Once you reach your corner chain two space, make one single crochet, chain two, and single crochet in the same chain two space to create a corner. Continue working around by creating a single crochet in each stitch across and a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in each corner. I've almost completed my single crochet border I just have this final chain two corner space left. So finally, you are going to single crochet, chain two, single crochet, and join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet made. Now you just cut your yarn, finish off, and weave in your ends, and then you're done creating your granny triangle. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Looking forward to see what you make with this.